Yummers. A wash with our druggy, mm. rising star turned into a meteorite, mm. a flag but hold the hell, mm. and a snake that sucks <coughs> with no fangs. <coughs> These are a couple of words that I came up with that describe perfectly Bruce drop him off. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain how Bruce went from a promising streamer to whatever mess he has become. Hey bro, hey bro. Bruce drop him off born Bruce Sway Condoms is a 23 year old streamer and YouTuber from Riverdale, Georgia. He first started his journey as a content creator in 2016 with an outlast gameplay. Bruce got fame in the first place from his NBA 2K videos in 2017, but got the most views from his subreddit videos, where he would rack up to 2 million views, which is far, far from what he's doing now. In 2022, Bruce was on top of the game. He joined the OTK group with fellow members such as Miskiff, Jay Schlatt, Riz Campbell, Asmond Gold, and many more. The OTK org was once definitely up there, competing with other groups like AMP and The Boys. But OTK fell off due to some sexual assault allegations against Riz Campbell. Look at this dude. This is where OTK member Jay Schlatt, Riz Campbell, and Bruce Jopemoff respectively left the org. Around the same time, Bruce was also doing Boys Night Stream with Kai Senat and New Rage, where they would invite fellow streamer and celebrity like Kari Irving and XQC. Bruce was a fan favorite for keeping it real, even though it would end up backfiring at him. Everything was going smooth until the shit hits the fan. When shit hits the fan, it hits the fan. When Bruce left OTK in the middle of 2022, he hopped on his live stream to talk shit about OTK, and especially against Miskiff. Because Miskiff once wrote nigger in a DM that he leaked, which led to Bruce calling him a cracker and wishing for his death. Surprise, surprise, Bruce got banned. What I never guessed. So, what did he do? He waited patiently until he got unbanned like a good boy and apologized. Aww. Now, we're talking about Bruce. This retard went live on his secondary Twitch channel and doubled down on his previous statement. Guess what? Guess what? This dumbass got banned again. <laughs> So already this sets the tone for what type of character he is, but it's just the beginning. A bit later on in March 2023, Boys Night was cancelled due to tension between Bruce, Sky and Rage. Bruce says some dumb shit then plays a victim. In that case, he said that he was forced to do Boys Night, while Kai and Rage plays the bigger person, or at least tries, and still remains in good terms with Bruce. Last year, Bruce got again into beef, but this time with rapper DDG. Same pattern. Bruce starts some shit up, then plays the victim. It all started on a stream with rapper Lucky, the fat guy, in which Bruce started to diss DDG's music, which DDG didn't took the insult too kindly. No shit. Then they both went into a stream hosted by Kaisenat and Your Rage, where drunk Bruce of the perks yells, stims, and roleplay as Foxy for some reasons. I mean, maybe more like Shadow Bunny? Cause he's black. DDG him, clearly being wiser, predicted Bruce's downfall, step by step in front of him, in an attempt to put Bruce back on track by telling him to stay in his lane and get a better attitude. But Bruce didn't listen. You are the weakest uh, nigga in your group, bro. These are your big homies. They're your big homies. You're I the guess. weakest nigga in the group. That. I hate that. I right. hate you that. are the Chris. little nigga. I hate that. I hate Calm that. down, I hate relax. That. You're oh, not Kai, Chris. bro. No, I hate that. You're not no, him. I, no. You're not I wish him, bro. That's so you weird. are the young nigga. That makes me fucking Ill. Work your That's way so up. Crazy. At this point, Bruce Carey is already in a decline. The kind that was made worse in October 2023. A mod of Bruce leaked some DMs in a group chat specially made for Bruce and his mods. The DMs targeted everyone, from all of AMP, to Rage, Leliari, Aiden Ross, Speed, Chesser, and Convy. Of course, behind their back. In the first screenshot, Bruce talks shit about Kai and Speed's short film while also throwing shades at Yadi, calling him a faggot. In the next screenshot, he got mad at Yadi cause he little brought him. But if you don't wanna be belittled, don't act like a little bitch. After that, he called Aiden and Chesser a cracker, called Speed irrelevant, ironic, and called Kai a dick rider. Next, he called AMP a bunch of scammers, which they didn't took to kindly. Why ain't no way, boy? In the next four screenshot, he claimed that Kai and Speed stole his idea of going to Japan, 
while also blaming your rage for it. Lastly, he told him that he wanted to beat the fuck out of Convy. Or at least try. <laughs> and how did they all react, you might ask? Well, they all responded, telling him to seek help and cut ties with him. And I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to do shit with you no more. I don't want to be associated with you no more. I don't want, I don't give a fuck what you got going on. Yeah, it's not the most exciting response, but it's probably the best one. But one response that really caught my eye was Duke Dennis' response. You want that? You don't gotta communicate with me. You don't gotta say nothing to me, bro. You feel me? And just for once, see, look at your community, and, and not even, if you're not gonna apologize to nobody, apologize to them niggas. Please, them niggas deserve it, bro. Apologize to your community. Be okay? your shit, nigga. Big D.O. shit, nigga. Hey! Man, if I was Bruce, man, if I was Bruce, I'd say, man, fuck that. Yeah, no, that's just because I want to hear him talk. He sounds like he has a show that's kind of hilarious. Hey, if you're still watching, can I have some stand-on business in the comment section? Now, here's the new shit happening. In July of this year, streamer Sketch got caught having a gay fanboy only fans account. And as soon as Bruce heard the news, he was hyped. He was steaming, started whoa, licking whoa, his whoa, lips whoa, and shit, whoa, whoa, you know. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. He went out of his way to clip find the fuck out of the situation, making fun of him because Sketch wanted to kill himself. While also claiming that Sketch is pushing a gay agenda on his fan base by hiding his double life. If he's gay, who gives a fuck, man? Who cares? It's not about you fucking being gay. It's not about you being gay, gang. It's about you not telling nobody <laughs> and hiding it and coming a whole different alias. Like you're a new person. That's not cool, bro. At all. You got kids that watch you, gang. My little brother watch you, bro. And I'm not allowing him to watch you no more. Which, um, do I have to say that it's retarded? Unlike the last time that Bruce was once relevant beside all of the drama, it was with that gay ass barber from Atlanta giving him that premium cut in front of his 12 year old fan base. Finally, the last drama happened yesterday, as I read the script. Bruce's girlfriend Dana from high school broke up with him for the exact same reason as why nobody fucks with Bruce no more. So Bruce decided to take revenge, got drunk, took some porky worky, and went live just like every time that the run is due. And this time, the target was Face Clan. Fuck, nigga, fuck Face! Nigga, I'm so EB, y'all niggas don't, y'all will steal, yes, I am still honk honk. Mr. Crash, I don't give a fuck. Fuck everybody. Yes, every day. He started to talk shit about them behind their back. Because according to Playboy Max, he tried to force himself into joining the face clan but got denied. And now he's being mad. You're beefing with a wall. Stop doing it. Nobody care about you. Face don't give a fuck about you, nigga. You wanted to join face like you were saying on a FaceTime call, but you ain't get that fucking shot. You're salty now, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. Not surprising. Bruce also got threatened by face banks, saying that he would beat his ass and fuck his bitch. What? Yo, just know I'm smacking the shit. What? Okay, you okay. Okay. And fucking your bitch. For, for, for real? But I'm gonna take one. Uh, 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 uh. You're a pussy. Watch, I'm gonna make an example out of you. You're a little bitch. So that's where it stays right now. But I can predict that the same shit is gonna happen again. Bruce will double down, then play the victim card, rinse and repeat. So yeah, like I said, a wash with our druggy, mm. rising star turning into a meteorite, mm. a flag but hold the L, mm. and a snake that sucks <coughs> with no fangs. He once had it all, but because of his shitty attitude, he lost all his friends, colleagues, and lost his girl. Why? Why? I read about While at the same time, Bruce also lost his career. As we can see, he was once having 75,000 viewers, but now he's barely scraping the 10,000. And now the only thing that Bruce has for himself is a drug addiction. <laughs> but knowing how many people he turned his back against, it's not tomorrow that he's gonna get any help in the first place. Keep in mind, turning your back against one person or two it happens, or five, it starts to get weird. But when it's against and I go in order, Asmon Gold, Miskiff, S Fan, Riz Campbell, Tips Out, NMP, Seer, Tectone, J Shat, Emiru, Soda Popin, DDG, Kaisenat, Duke Dennis, Agent, Phantom Tax, Chris Next Door, I'm Davis, Your Age, Liliati, Aiden Ross, XQC, I Show Speed, Chesser, Convy, Hamlins, Korn, Sketch, Face Amper, Face Apex, Face Rug, Face Bank, Face Adapt, 
Face Jeb, Face Replay, Nick Merckx, Face Swag, Face Cope, Face Kaysan, Face Zuma, Stable Ronaldo, Lake Boy Max, Face Silky, Face Jason, Face Lacey, and even your girlfriend? You might be the problem.